is another Thursday. Your friend Paul Adelaide. Because we have these promises, dear friends, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that can defile our body or spirit. And let us walk towards complete holiness because we fear God. 2 Corinthians 7 1. I pray that you and I will be sanctified, body, soul, and spirit, and nothing will defy us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go. Last week, we have been speaking about spiritual warfare, and we specifically said sex in the dream. I promise that I'll be speaking in the next episode of part two about spirit wives, husband, and astral sex. Today, I'll be starting with spirit wives. Spirit or uh, spirit husband, or that spirit husband. I'll be starting with spirit husband. But I want to ask a question that came to my heart. If the rapture happens and someone is actively sleeping with you in the dream, defiling your soul, will you make heaven? That's the question. Because the Bible says in First Thessalonians 5 23, First Thessalonians 5 23, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And make your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I ask, if the rapture happens and someone is actively sleeping with you in the dream, defiling your soul and your spirit, will you make heaven? Ponder over it as we go. Now let's talk about incubus, spirit husband. Incubus, spirit husband. I'm taking my time to do this because some people don't believe in these things. Some preachers even say it's all nonsense. Because the Bible says that people are destroyed because they lack knowledge. They lack information, they lack truth, they lack facts. So when you lack truth, information, and facts, and you have not experienced these things, you can't say anything. Instead of you to keep quiet about it, you tend to do as if you know, say it doesn't exist. Spirit, husband, or incubus. That's what we are starting with. Number one, it's a demon, an evil spirit that defies women. Some Bible scholar believes, scholars believe it's called Asmodeus. A demon of lust personify that manifests itself in diverse forms. Now the question you ask is, are demons real? Are demons real? Let's go to the Bible, Luke 8, 2, Luke 8, 2. Along with some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Among them were Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. You see, this is Jesus who cast out seven demons. Demons from a woman called Mary Magdalene that ended up becoming the first person that saw Jesus on the resurrection morning. Now, listen, though as a Christian, you can't be possessed by a demon like unbelievers, you can be seriously oppressed by demons. Let's continue. At 1616, at 1669, it happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. That's another demon. Some people call this demon the python spirit or the spirit of div divination. Number two, to make it simple, a demon is an evil spirit. Now, an evil spirit is a person without body. I said, okay, this is key. Now, an evil person is someone, a person without body. How do I know an evil spirit has a voice? An evil spirit has a will. Listen to the scripture. In Luke 11, 24 to 26. Luke 11, 24 to 26. I'm teaching you the things that I learned from the Bible that helped me. And that have helped a lot of Christians. When an evil spirit leaves a person, it goes into desert, into desert, searching for rest. But when it finds none, it says, I will return. That's a will. I will return to the person I came from. So it returns and finds that this summer home is all swept and in order. Then the spirit finds seven other more spirits, more evil than itself. And they enter the person and live there. And so that person is worse than, than before. Of, worse off than before. That's an evil spirit with a will saying, I will return. Hence, this demon... We occupy the body of people, means a body to operate. It can be the body of a willing victim, say a warlock, a wizard, or an image of a dog or a snake, or just an animal. I see women who say, I saw a snake trying to sleep with me in the dream, or a dog trying to sleep with me in the dream. I don't want to make it long. Let's stop here. I decree anyone. That the snake is coming to sleep within the dream. That snake is killed in Jesus' name. Any dream animal 
or anyone defiling you in the spirit realm is destroyed in Jesus' name. I invite you to Jesus so that you will learn more and know more. Freedom is available through Jesus. In Jesus' name, we continue. More information in part three. God bless.